There you go. Right. Look at your fishy. Hi, Hi everybody. I'm Kevin with the Wildlife Channel. Today we are stocking rainbow trout into what we think is a perfect trout pond in Montana. To see how this pond was built, look for the link in the description below. There are no other fish in the pond, so we will be stocking rainbow trout that are only two to four inches long. Be sure to subscribe so you can see future videos about how big the trout grow. A week before the trout were stocked, we took a look to see what kind of food is available in the flooded stream channel where the spring water flows into the pond. So freshwater shrimp are going to be the diet of choice, I think, for the uh, for the trout. Also in there, we've got a uh, right here. We've got a mayfly nymph in there. That's that light-colored one. And the shrimp that are swimming together apparently are breeding. It's a male and a female. We also checked the main pond and made an unexpected discovery. Didn't know we had leeches. Leeches seem to be on everything. Another super source of food for the trout? Little fat pills, trout donuts. We reserved 300 2 to 4 inch rainbow trout at the Big Springs Private Trout Hatchery near Lewistown, Montana. I'm a Spring Creek Trout Hatchery. I'm Vanessa, and then this is my daughter Grace. She's helping me. Uh, my grandparents started the fish hatchery in the middle 60s, so it's been around a while. We have uh, seven circular pools in here where we have brown trout and rainbow trout. These are the brown trout. They are about a year, a little more than a year old. And these are our rainbows, and this is our, our kind of like our sorting station. And this sorter has three fractional settings, so we can ad adjust it and really get. Um, a good targeted size range when we're wanting a certain, you know. So I have this set on about three eighths of an inch to get the size range that we want to put to these order, the two to four inch size. So we just spin around a little bit and then just give it a couple shakes. And then uh, pop any of their heads for if they get stuck. So, and then after we're done, you know, we try to fill the floating net with as much as possible. And then we'll we scoop out the bigger size. So, and the metal is nice because it doesn't um, damage their gills, it's not smooth. That one. Okay. And then what we did earlier is we, um, this is about the size range for your order, is we put them in the red bucket and then put them on the workstation and then I peeled them out by hand. We use a smaller net and just scoop out the size that we're looking for. So we have 25 2 to 4 inch rainbows in each box. Um, I've already pre-measured them and pre-sorted them before you got here. So, what we do, this is pure oxygen, so we'll Pipe in some pure oxygen. Squeeze out the old air. Sometimes I overfill the bags and then it's like trying to close up a big old like hefty box. Mm. 
been that top to help keep the oxygen in, and I'm going to fail on this one terribly. <coughs> Put in about two scoops of ice. If somebody is traveling and has a long drive back, then I usually put three to four scoops. Still this outside bay. Yesterday I did 1,500 fish, 45 boxes. Wow. And my little helper is in tears. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long day. Not just went to one lake, huh? Um, it was two. Two? Yep. So I always label them with the label and what we have in the box. Um, as far as I know, Montana doesn't have like really strict labeling. For their the order was complete. Now it was time to get those trout into the water. Avery, come here. Look. Oh. See the fishies? Fishy. Get a better look at them. Let me you want to come see? Here. Oh, wow. Look. Look at that, Avery. Oh, Avery. Oh. Fish. Fish. A lively rainbow trout. Look. Look at all the fish. Put some pond water in them to get them used to the, oh, the yes. difference. Oh. Avery, look at the fish. Look at all the fish. Wow, look how cute and little they are. <laughs> they're so small, they're little babies. They're little baby fish. Cute. The instructions from the hatchery were to place the bags of trout into the water for 30 to 40 minutes to acclimate them to the temperature of the pond. A little pond water was then introduced for the next 15 minutes to acclimate the trout to the pond chemistry so there isn't a shock when they're released. Yeah, fish! There was a big hatch of mayflies when the trout were released, and they began to feed on them immediately. We brought some trout to release on the other side of the pond so we could provide a better view of the fish for you.
The hatchery is said to expect the rainbows to grow about an inch a month for the first few months. Subscribe to the Wildlife Channel so you can watch in the future videos how big the trout grow.